Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem 4.56 from Sadiq book. So the question is use Norton's theorem to find V0 in the circuit of figure 4.122. Okay, uh, V0 is this one. Maybe let's take out that load resistor here. So we need to find out the first. This is A and B. We need to find out a short circuit current for the Norton current. And then we also need to find out the Norton resistance which is uh, the resistance seen from this point here, Rn. And I think I will find out the Rn first. So the first thing that we need to do is to find the Norton resistance. And we need the circuit, but with all the sources turned off. So this 30, 36 volt voltage source will be replaced by short circuit. So we will have that 12 kilo ohm resistor here. So we'll have that 12 kilo ohm resistor. And then we still have that 24 kilo ohm resistor here. Okay. And then we still also have that 2 kilo ohm resistor there. And we replace this 3 milliampere current source with open circuit so we don't need to draw it and then we also have that 10 kilo ohm resistor and this is terminal a and that is terminal b good we need to see the rn from this point okay let's do exactly that so rn is just 10 kilo ohm in series with 2 kilo ohm and in series with 12 and 24 in parallel. Okay, I think we can just do mathematics from here. 10 plus 2, this will be 12 times 24. And then divided by 12 plus 24. That will be 36, right? And 36 and 12 will cancel into 3. So we have 24 divided by 3 is 8. Okay, so we have 10 plus 2 plus 8. So we'll have the Norton resistance here is 20 kilo ohm. And I think that is a good start from here. We off to a strong start. Good. Now the next part is we need to find out I n. Find I n. Find I n. What is I n? I n is the short circuit current between A B. Okay, maybe let's take the one kilo ohm resistor out first. So we will have it like uh, this. Maybe. Uh, okay. Let's have it like this. Good. And this might cancel. One. So this is terminal A and this is terminal B. We short this part here. Maybe let's erase that first. Okay, so what we need to find out is this current here, I and okay. What can we do? I think we can do nodal analysis. So let's just take this as our ground. This is V is equal to zero because if this is the ground. And now let's name this node here as C and this node here as a D. Oh no, yeah, D, D is okay. So D and I N is VD divided by 10, right? Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. This is going to the right, going down, going right, and going right. And this one will be going down. And this is 36 volt from the ground. So we will have this. I think I need some spaces here. So let's save this Rn and clean up the board first. 
okay now let's do kcl at node c kcl at node c kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay the only current that goes in is this one so i'll have 36 minus vc divided by 12 and then another two currents are going out so we will have this part here vc minus zero that will be vc divided by 24 and then the last one will be vc minus vd divided by 2 vc minus vd divided by 2 and let's multiply both sides by 24 to get rid of all the denominator so we'll have 12 and 24 will cancel into 2 so we'll have 72 minus 2 vc and then 24 and 24 will cancel each other so we'll have vc and then 2 and 24 will cancel into 12 so we'll have 12 vc minus 12 vd good and now we will have 12 plus 1 plus 2 that will be 15 vc and then minus 12 vd and all of that will equal to 72 and let's save this as equation number one good and then what else we need to do another kcl at node d now now let's see that kcl at node d can KCL say that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay the current that goes in is in only this one and that one is vc minus vd divided by 2 and then this one is 3 milliampere so we'll have this 3 milliampere and then plus vd minus 0 divided by 10 so we'll have vd divided by 10 multiply this by 10 and 2 and 10 will cancel into 5 so we'll have 5 vc minus 5 vd is equal to 30 and then we will have this part here is a vd good now we will have 5 vc minus 6 vd and that will equal to 30 we have two equation and two variables we can solve that so we will have vc and vd right and the is fastest way to do it is just using calculator let's set this up as equation solver which is number five two variables is number one and let's plug in the coefficient we have 15 minus 12 and then 72 and then we will have 5 minus 6 and then 30 okay we will have vc is 2.4 and the unit here will be volt and then what is vd vd is the y value that will be minus 3 so vd is minus 3 volt okay and that is good because if we know vd we can calculate in what is in in is vd minus 0 that is vd divided by 10 kilo ohm and vd is minus 3 so i'll have minus 3 divided by 10 therefore i will have in is equal to minus 0.3 and what is the unit the unit will be in milliampere because vd is in volt and the resistance 10 here is in kilo ohm so we'll have milliampere okay and that is a good thing because now we have in and rn but are we finished no not yet because the the question is asking about p0 okay let's clean up our slide first okay so now we have in and rn uh, but our task is to find out v0 here okay let's replace this circuit with the norton equivalent here we have our in is 0 0.3 so we will have this one here that will be 0 0.3 milliampere 
good and then that will be in parallel with the resistor which is 20 kilo ohm okay and then this is the terminal and that terminal is connected by a load of 1 kilo ohm so we'll have 1 kilo ohm here kilo ohm and we are asked to find out about the voltage here so v0 is this one here v0 okay and i think i just use not kcl here and if we set this as our ground this is not v0 right not v0 and then let's just assume that all the current is going down so we can do KCL at V0. So we'll have KCL at V0. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There is no current that goes in. So we will have 0 on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, I will have 0 0.3. And then plus, I will have V0 here. V0 over 20 and I also have V0 over 1 okay let's isolate that minus 0 0.3 there and I will have this also 1 over 20 plus 1 okay and then multiplied by V0 I just leave this for calculator because that is hard how do you calculate that manually yeah you can but i'm too lazy to do that 1 over 20 plus 1 and therefore we will have v0 let's just use our calculator okay now we will have minus 0 0.3 and then divided by we will have 1 over 20 and then plus 1 Okay, so we'll have minus 0 0.286, minus 0 0.286, and the unit here will be in volt. And I think that is the final answer that we are looking for for this circuit. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.